This is part two of best breakfast foods in Taiwan that you must try. In the previous episode, we had some amazing slimy pork intestines and oyster mian tian. We also visited the super popular Fuhang soy milk and the most famous Yonghe soy milk. In this episode, we first visit Tianmu soy milk. It's 5:30 a.m. here, and there are already several other customers here. We're here to try their most famous dish, Jiu Cai Dan Bing, egg pancake with chives. You can see this Dan Bing is very different from the one we had at Fuhang Soy Milk. The one at Fuhang is softer and more moist, like the regular Dan Bing in most places in Taiwan. This one here is the crispy, hard kind. What's unique is the chives filling, and you can see the size is enormous. This is amazing! Wow, this is one big dan bing. We also got xian dou jiang, salty soy milk. It's quite tasty, but the one at Fuhang Soy Milk is definitely better, much more flavorful, and richer in ingredients. Probably the best in Taiwan. We got you tiao, Chinese donuts fried in oil. Very, very tasty. This is so good. We also try the soup dumplings, Xiao Long Tang Bao here. There is abundant soup inside the dumplings, and I like these ones better than the ones at Yonghe Soy Milk, shown in part one. The broth tastes so fresh. You can also add fresh ginger slices and vinegar. Now let's look at some other must-have breakfast foods in Taiwan. This is chong you bing, delicious green onion bun, topped with toasted sesame seeds. Wow, this bread is hot outside where it has been baked, and then inside is actually wet and moist, and the fried green onions is really fragrant. I also got hot stickers, Guo Tie. The skin is crispy on one side and moist on the other. Dip in beautiful chili oil. This is daikon cake, Luo Bo Gao, pan fried with egg. There's a little pork and dried shrimp in there, and I love to have it with some spicy chili oil. This is gan mian, dry noodles. Dry noodles doesn't mean it's dry, but simply means that it's not in soup. Instead, it's drenched in delicious sauce and topped with many items such as Chinese celery and fried shallots. I love the wonton. The pork ball is so tasty. Most of the juicy sauce is at the bottom, so make sure you mix the noodles well. Another must-have breakfast item is hua bao. You start with a delicious mantou, add peanut powder, pickled veggies, braised pork, braised fatty pork belly, cilantro or coriander, more peanut powder. This combination is super delicious. The sandwich is very juicy. The combination of bread, veggies, meat, and fat gives it multiple layers of amazing flavor and texture. And now a very special dan bing. Spread the egg out on the grid. Add some aromatic basil. This is the famous and highly rated Zai Xing Dan Bing Pu in Sanxia, where they make their own innovative style of dan bing. Add a large piece of marinated soft tofu. Wrap it up. This is one big meal. The soft tofu is especially amazing. 